Today we're gonna talk about, do I need a bachelor's or a master's degree to get into informatics? Hi, this is Jen from Informatics Life where I give you weekly insight on healthcare and technology. All right, so I bet you sometimes wondering, do I need a bachelor's degree or master's degree to get into informatics? All right, let me give you some tips about that. Informatics has been around for so long, but they just didn't call it informatics all the time. That's something that a lot of people don't truly understand. And I had some amazing IT nurses teach me that lesson. I said, you've been here for 20 years? Wow, that is amazing. And there's so many other informatics specialists that have been in the informatics realm for 15, 20 years. They're IT executives and these are nurses. Just saying. Or they have worked in some other type of medical field, healthcare informaticist. But the thing is, they weren't called informatics specialists. That is more so of a new term that has come up in the last few years. As you know, it's fairly new still that colleges have been pushing out about getting informatics degrees in healthcare and nursing. And that hasn't been around for that long. You know what I'm saying? So all of these amazing nurses in IT that I know of, a lot of them are just now getting their bachelor's or just now getting their master's or not because they have amazing wealth of knowledge. Now let's Fast forward to 2020 where you have so many people getting their master's degree in informatics. But sometimes it may seem like it's hard to get a job, right? Sometimes it is, to be honest with you. But then that puts you in the place of trying to figure out if you should wait to try to get into the field with your bachelor's or should I wait and try to get into the field with my master's? Let me tell you a secret. Try to get in now. So wait, all right? Do your best to apply now. Now is never too late. But what if I get rejected? Well, you're in the same place you were before without being in informatics. Don't let that intimidate you. I applied three times to get into the informatics field. And that third time was a charm. What are these people looking for when they're looking for an informatics specialist? Now, sometimes they are looking for IT experience and you probably can't help, but it doesn't hurt to try. Put on that resume that you're a fast learner and that you're willing to take whatever IT courses after being hired within a certain amount of days to make you extra qualified. Do what you have to do to make yourself valuable. Sometimes, hospital organizations or wherever you plan on working are just looking for experience, bedside experience, and they'll do all the on the job training for you for the technical aspect of it. And those jobs, I always say, go for it. A lot of times they're looking for that healthcare science brain that's gonna help them make some amazing decisions for documentation or technology. All in all, I really want you to remember that you have to make yourself valuable. As I said in my other videos, be that super user, take some leadership courses, be the preceptor on the floor, be the charge nurse, become an A&M, get some strong leadership skills, but also if you know your system works with a certain documentation system and you found out about a certification course, take it. If they're offering it, that will help you get into the IT field as well. Just because you have an informatics degree doesn't mean you're gonna get into the informatics realm. Just because you have a bachelor's degree doesn't mean you're gonna get into the informatics realm either. 
It's really about what else is going on in your life and what other steps you have made and what leadership skills have you acquired. And if you have a positive attitude and if you're engaged with the unit and people are going to refer you to say yes, that person will make a great informatics specialist. Now, I'm not saying don't get your master's degree. I have my master's degree, but I am saying number one, don't let a bachelor's degree or a master's degree hold you back from trying to get into the field and applying for that position. Number two, if you get a no, it's not the end of the world. Please know that. Keep trying. Make yourself more valuable, like I said. I know many people with associate's degrees in the informatics realm or they have some other type of two-year degree but what they did do was make themselves more valuable and more attractive to people who were looking for informatics specialists if they can do it you can do it too so should you get your bachelor's degree or your master's degree Having that higher degree will always help you in the long run when you're trying to go up the ladder to if you want to be chief informatics officer or something. But if you have your bachelor's degree, don't let that stop you for applying for that job. I hope that was helpful with you making a decision about getting your bachelor's degree or your master's degree. Both are really good to have, but it's also what you do outside of just a degree that'll help you get into that informatics field. Be the best you. This is Jen, informatics nurse specialist, signing off. Bye.